This is Julian, and I'm here with Owen, and what we want to talk about in this video here is the civilian mindset versus the behind-the-scenes mindset. Okay, so we got into a conversation today about adult film stars, pornographic actors from, you know, porn that you'd see online. And what's funny is that in the porn world, they'll call people who are not behind the scenes in creating the porn, but rather the consumers of the porn, okay? The consumers of the porn, they call it civilians, all right? So behind the scenes, they're the ones creating, you know, I've heard that, that adult film is something like 70% of the internet. I don't know if that's true, but there's just huge amounts of view counts and, and watches on adult film. People are watching it all the time. It's sort of like the, like the hidden written reason of the internet. This is basically just this big porn machine. So um, what happens that if you're behind the scenes is that you realize like, okay, like I'm a girl, I'm in porn. I know that I don't look like this. I know that I have hair extensions in. I have makeup all over my face. I have perfect lighting. I know that the sex positions that I'm doing that, you know, that old man in the Midwest watching it with it, you know, he's obese, his wife's obese. They don't even like sex. He thinks that that, that would be a good sexual position. And like, you know, I understand that that position was probably very forced and uncomfortable and that we just did it to make the movie look good. Um, so they are the producers of the films and then the consumer of the film has no idea what actually goes on behind the scenes and then it's nothing that it, what it looks like on the surface. So Julie and I, we were just kind of talking about that and we're like, well, wait a second, that same mindset applies, you know, even with us with Success of Women, how, you know, guys will think that we're always confident, we never get rejected and we're always crushing it 24 hours a day. In fact, the second that we finish this, we're just like super Superman, like, whoosh, like you know, to go talk to some girl or something like that. Not living a normal life with depth, with friends. You know, somebody you might even see with like, you know, a female cousin who's overweight, and they're like, "Is that his girlfriend? Oh my God, what's going on?" Right? And it's like, dude, I'm just living my life. I'm showing you in our videos a part of life that's really important that we're passionate about. But there's regular life. You know, like people will see me say at like Barnes and Noble or CVS, and they're shocked that I'm not like, you know be like in, in the private bathroom with like the clerk like hooking up yeah. and, and, and that's because again they're in the consumer mindset and that's fine if you want to believe that that's fine but at the same time the problem is you're not really learning from the person and you're creating unrealistic expectations in your mind and what's funny is ultimately you're missing the main value that yeah. that person has to offer. Yeah I mean it's really like facts versus stories and uh, this is actually one of the thing I hammer in like every client like say success with women some guy comes up most of my programs are me just telling him uh, dude, you've made it. That's that's it. That's you being confident. That's you killing it. And they just can't accept it because they just project like, no, I must be literally flying through the air. If I'm not flying through the air, just like a, like attracting women, I've not made it. I'm like, no, dude, like that's it. I would have done nothing different. And they just can't, you know, like fathom like that's true. It's like I've made it. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is success with women, but in business too. It's like we always look at people are like, whoa. You know, those people, like, they're so perfect in every single way. Look at me, I'm not disciplined. I'm slacking off here. I'm not on top of this. And uh, you beat yourself up. Like, that's another number one cause of you beating yourself up is, like, those unrealistic views of, like, what, you know, who these people are. And, uh, I mean, a challenge, too, I give everyone is, like, look at someone you idolize. Like, right now, whoever you idolize, look at your number one idol <laughs> and find a flaw. And if you can't, if you're like, oh, no, that, that person's, you know, amazing, 10 out of 10. Like, even in terms of the content that we give, like, this is another one. I read this recently where uh, someone was like, you know, there's one thing I disagree with what Julian said, and I thought I'd never disagree with him. And I'm like, if you never, ever disagree with me, that's weird. That's you, you know, idolizing, you getting stuck in this, again, like, civilian mindset. Like, you better disagree with some stuff I say. You know, it's like, take what works for you, take what you resonate with, and uh, you better see some fucking flaws. No matter who it is, like, look at number one celebrities, like Elon Musk, maybe. You're like, oh, Elon Musk, where's his flaw? Find the flaw. And until you can, you're not going to get very far because you're going to continuously beat yourself up. Um, you're going to think you have to be perfect in all areas to get there. And uh, you won't even know how to get there. Most people think the road to success is like continuous public victories. It's the glory moves. When in reality, it's like the boring stuff you do behind the scenes. Anything that you see somebody crushing it at, you're gonna you're gonna go to that level or beyond because of the fact that you give a fuck and you're taking action on it it's gonna happen there's not some magical person that you can't surpass 
Um, if anything, you should surpass them because you're standing on the shoulders of giants and learning from their lessons and mistakes. Like, I look at guys that look at me and you and some of the stuff that we excel at, and they think that they couldn't surpass us, and I'm like, mm. whoa, that's a failure. If you really wanted that and you didn't surpass it, that's a failure because all those years that we spent figuring out the things that we teach, you get that given to you, and now you get to keep going. So, you know, the counter argument is that we had to work harder for it so we have more skin of the game and we're more invested and we have more momentum and we have more, more kind of personal uh, you know, connection to those lessons and things like that. But for the most part, anything that you do, anything that I do, is doable by anybody. Yeah. And anybody who we know who's out there crushing it, we don't look at them and go, we couldn't do that. We look at them and go, we could do that. I don't even think like, like okay, when I see someone at the public level, I don't even view them as a person until I know the backstory and the flaws, right? Like I've got buddies that, um, you know, we'll, we'll have had say close proximity to like really high level people, right? And I'll kind of pick out of them like the kind of the dirt and things like that. Mm -hmm. I tend to do that. And a lot of times they'll say to me like, they're like, well, I'll tell you, but I hope I'm not lowering your opinion of them. I'm like, no, 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 no. Not only are you not lowering my opinion of them, they're not even a real human to me they're just a f smoke and mirrors of an image and now you're making them real. And now that I know their flaws and the things that they're kind of weird about and their challenges and that they did that in spite of that, now I like them even more. I don't care what you told me. I don't care what you told me bad about the person because until you know both sides, that's not even a person. There is no magical superhero flying through the air who's doing things that you can't do, unless it's certain like athletic things where it's like, you know, some guy's like six foot seven, he's gonna dunk. But aside from those few random things, anybody can crush it. Don't be pulled into that civilian mindset because two reasons. One, you're limiting yourself from getting the real value. And two, you're not even respecting the person. You're not even giving that, that person respect. That's why when you meet celebrities, they don't even want to meet you or hang out with you because they're like, oh God, it's a civilian. He thinks I'm this like perfect person. He's going to be so pissed. So they don't even, they're like, God, he's going to be so disappointed. First thing I say to people that when I, when I was getting you involved in RSC back in the day was like, dude, like I would tell you over and over, here's the problems. Here's the problems. Here's the problems. I say that to anybody that I work with. And then if they still want to work together, cool. If not, forget it. Same goes with like hot girls. Again, what do they look like without makeup? Dude, they don't look like without the makeup, the heels, the fake titties, the hair extensions. That's not her. She's Jenny from next door. Right now you have flaws. You're like, oh, I'm not perfect here. That person would be perfect everywhere. That's not true. You know, where are they not perfect? Where are you not perfect? Be okay with that. It's not about being perfect. You know, that's like the biggest one the behind the scenes. Like you don't have to be perfect. It's unrealistic to be perfect. It's part of the civilian mindset to be perfect. Trying to be perfect is like trying to literally like live out those porn scenes every single day with every single girl you sleep with. And until you've lived out, like until every time you have sex is like that porn you saw, you're not going to be happy. Like that's most people. It's like, it's not, it sucks. It sucks. They're looking for that porn, but that porn isn't real and that's fine. And it shouldn't be real. I guess that'd be the main message here is snap out of this. Okay. Whoever you idolize, find the flaws, be okay with that, be realistic, don't buy into the stories that you project, don't buy into the stories that society projects or that other people project or that your friends project. Look at the facts, don't get sucked in by the glamours, whether it's a hot girl, again, it's not the makeup, it's not you projecting and she's the answer, the solution to all my problems. She's a real human being, uh, someone who's successful as well. Don't get all nervous, get all stifled, like, oh, they're on this pedestal, they're so much better than me. No, they're human beings just like you and the more you can see through that, the more you'll be able to, one, connect with them, two, see what they did to get there and know how you can get there and feel good doing it because you're not holding yourself to these, again, perfectionist standards. So be real. Get, get to the behind the scenes. Peek behind the curtain. It's fine. Don't be afraid. I guess that's the other one too. Is like you're you're so hooked, like in this fantasy world, like you don't want to let go. It's like I don't want to see yeah. the truth. I want I want it's to like, keep believing like, yeah, Santa's yeah, like, real. Like if you have what? a ten girlfriend and she gets dolled up, you're like, oh, that's cute. That's her at her like proper presentation. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm doing a free tour, that's me at my proper presentation. Yeah. Right. That's me doing my free tour thing. Then in the morning, I wake up and I do my taking a shit thing while I make no sense and try to like figure out what my day is while I'm like, you know, and then I'm doing that, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm doing the thing where I you know, chill at the restaurant and put food in my mouth thing. And then there's the, the prim and proper thing. It's just, you know, it's just different sides, but that's not the full picture. And when you realize that those, those 
private victories that the person's putting in, that's what you should actually be celebrating. Don't celebrate the public victory. Look at the things they're doing behind the scenes that most people wouldn't look at. That's what to be impressed by. Like, wow, that guy did a boring thing, sucked at it, but just kept chipping away and got a little bit better until he improved. Awesome, as opposed to like, look at them. Yeah. Which is just retarded. It makes no sense at all. And you're letting yourself off the hook because with that type of perfection, you don't think you can do it and you're letting yourself off the hook for taking action is ultimately a success bearer. The opposite, like what we're talking about here, that's actually looking at it in a balanced way. And from there, you're actually taking the frame that you're gonna properly succeed. So to conclude, okay, a little challenge here. Post here below whoever you idolize, whoever you look up to, post what you like about them, post where they succeed, be realistic, and post one flaw, one fuck up, one thing where they're just not as on top of their shit and that it's okay, okay? And let yourself off the hook. You don't have to be perfect. You're human, okay? Um, whatever like little area, it's like, oh, I'm not doing that right. Stop obsessing over that. Focus on the stuff you do well. Be okay with having some flaws and uh, snap out of this again, like weird civilian mindset. Uh, you know, look behind the scenes of the porn. Santa Claus isn't real. Those girls are not real. That sex is not real. Most of what you believe right now in life is not real. Welcome to the real. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a comment here below as I personally read every single one myself. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, share the video, tag a friend, you know the deal, and check out some of the other ones as well as I post on here every single week on topics that range from business, self-actualization, spirituality, and so much more. So get on that now. And once again, thanks for watching.